Hello everybody, I am a slight drizzle and welcome to my channel firstly. This is my first Let's Play series that I'll be uploading to my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, this is Planet Zoo. Uh, I've been playing this game for a few weeks now and I have fallen in love with it. I love any kind of simulation, city building, park building games and I love animals. So this kind of merges all of these worlds together. Um, so I'm starting a brand new franchise. So we're playing in franchise mode, um, which allows you to uh, buy and sell animals from other players, which I find really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's name the franchise. So I love cats. So maybe, maybe we go a theme with that. Um, I'm going to go and call it, for now, uh, Drizzle Company. This is just going to be the name of the company. And there we go. 100 uh, conservation credits, they are called. Conservation credits you can use to buy and uh, what you can use to sell animals. Uh, you can also get conservation credits from a variety of different ways, like uh, releasing animals to the wild. And the more endangered they are, the more conservation credits you get. So, let's go ahead and create our new zoo. Let's see. I think we'll go for a temperate climate. And because I'm from Europe, let's go with Europe. We'll keep it on medium difficulty. Which is the, the standard difficulty. I don't feel like we need to up it for now. Um, let's call this zoo... I don't know. Let's go for Big Cat Zoo. We'll expand from there. Let's go ahead and create. Now, I've not got too many plans for this zoo. Um, I'm just going to go with how I feel at the time. And obviously, uh, by any of your comments, uh, we can expand from there. So, I don't want to be playing too much in pause mode. Uh, but for now, to get our first uh, habitat uh, created, then we will head in it to play mode. Let's see what pathing we have. Oh, I quite like this one. Horizontal. Okay. Very fancy. Golden path, that's a bit too gaudy for me. Board. Log path. Very cool. Tree bark. Nah, I'm not basic. We're not going for that. Let's go for the lodgewood vertical path. Now, doesn't look entirely natural, but I like straight lines. I like to keep things as straight and organized as I can. Um, where possible, I will, I will try and uh, create more of a free flow exhibit, if you will. Uh, but for now, I'm going to start off with some straight pathing. I'm going to head into grid mode to really push that forward. Um, I haven't decided yet what animal I want for our first animal for the exhibit. Let's go ahead and build a habitat. And then we will decide from there. Now habitats in this game don't actually need to be that huge. Um, this is something I've learned as I've played what 
to me feels like a small enclosure is actually much more massive than what they have needed. Um, okay, before I go ahead and build the enclosure, let's check the Zoopedia and we will find an appropriate animal. Now, because we are big cat zoo, I suppose our first animal should be a big cat. That would be appropriate. Um, let's go for the temperate climate. Ah, not necessarily a big cat, but a cat nonetheless. Um, okay, let's go with the Eurasian lynx. So, the Eurasian lynx, so, the Zoopedia is fantastic, so it shows you everything you need to know. Like, for example, I need grade 3 climb-proof barriers, uh, or boundaries, uh, over 3 meters tall. So let's have a look. What have we got for grade 3? So we've got glass, which would be very good for visibility. Um, not climbable, which is also very good. Wood logs, which are climbable. Um, I'm going to say let's go for the glass for now. Let's find a nice spot. Back up the length a little bit. And now let's try and keep this as straight as we can. Nope, that was not straight. Again. There we go, that should do the trick. There we are. Okay. Make it a little bit smaller. A little bit bigger. There we go. being really anal about all of this, but... I do like things to be orderly. Let's move you down a little bit. Down there. And good. That's good enough for me. Okay, let's... Ah, we need... So for it to be recognised as a habitat, you need a habitat gate. Let's not put you there. Let's pop you down here. And now it's recognized as a habitat. So edit barrier. Let's whack you up. Ooh, need to select all. And now let's whack you up to three meters. There we go. Okay, and our first habitat is built. But before we can get any animals in, we need some star facilities. So let's head over to the par thing and go into staff, 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 staff paths. Um, let's whack the width down. They don't need to be that big. And let's pop one. Tell you what, let's pop the first part over here. I'm just going to use a multi-selection tool to move these trees out of the way. Great tip when you're first starting is all of these trees within your boundary can be moved. Save you a little bit of money. Okay, let's whack a path in there. That is not straight. There we go. Pop you down here. Bring the light down the light to grid. There we go. Okay, now we need to get some star facilities in before we can move in some animals. So first and foremost, we need an animal trade center. Just pressing Z there to uh, rotate. You can hold it down also to get more freeform rotation. So 
So now with staff buildings, they do have a radius around them which negatively affects guests, which personally I don't see any problem with seeing star facilities when I go to a zoo, but the game doesn't like them. So if you see here, go onto your heat maps and negative impact on guests, you can see the radius around it. So it's away from any paths and actual like direct viewing doesn't affect it. Um, it's just going to be if anyone actually comes into that radius. And because we have a staff path, staff path, I can't, can't say that properly, staff path, because we have a staff path, uh, regular guests cannot go down these paths, so it is perfectly safe over there. So, let's add some more staff facilities, we need a keeper hut as well, that can go next to you. Um, let's go for a research centre staff room. Rotate you a little bit. Let's pop you. Ooh, I don't like that. No sex in the group there. Let's pop you in. Let's pop you in there. Be a little different. Um, and we also need a workshop. Actually, yeah, let's pop in a veterinary surgery. Let's just adjust the path in here. Now, the pathing system in this game can be one of the most annoying things. <laughs> um, it is extremely finicky. Uh, it doesn't like to work most of the time, so it is basically finessing it to the point it wants to finally work with you instead of against you. Um, so you see it says obstructed, but it doesn't tell me why it's obstructed. It just doesn't like it. And this one will like it, but then doesn't like it. So, what I'm going to do is just move them, exit the group, move it around until it adjusts. And eventually it will just clip on, he says. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. And now this side, exit the group. So, exit the group, there we go. Now, I will do some decorating for these. It is a bit early days for that at the moment. Um, so, for now, they're going to be bare bones and basic. Um, but that is not necessarily a bad thing, as long as they work. Okay. So, now that we have our staff buildings, we can go ahead and add our first animal. And once the animals are in, we can see what needs they have, what requirements they like, and... Uh, how they like their habitat and we can adjust it from there so let's go ahead down to animal trading and we will find ourselves a was it Eurasian lynx there we go confirm okay so we'll have to buy with money for now so you've got its stats over here um, orange isn't too bad. I mean, you want all greens, preferably, but you're not going to get that paying with money. Um, we also want them on the younger side, but they are a little bit older. Um, okay. Let's go with Birdie here. Let's go ahead and adopt you. And who have we got? Anastasia and Tamara. Tamara has mm, slightly better genes, but Anastasia has the higher appeal. I think we're going to go with the appeal. Try and bring some more people in. Before I do that though, I am going to edit my zoo opening hours. 
because I want it to stay daytime because it makes for easier editing to begin with. Once I've got the money I'll start adding some lighting in and we can start to open the zoo a bit later but for now that is uh, that is just fine so let's go ahead and select you send you to the zoo oh and I also need to hire some staff that would be helpful so we'll go for one of each for now so we'll go for a caretaker oh, there's the day night cycle <laughs> Transporting links. Now I will set up some work zones a bit later and I'll go into a bit more detail about what they are and what they do. That's it buddy, run. Don't know why you didn't go the other way, but get your cardio in, get your steps in. Um, okay, so we've got a caretaker, let's go for a keeper. Keeper, I will want to decrease your salary. I am very sorry, but I'm not made of money. Uh, we need a mechanic to keep everything working. Again, I'm going to be decreasing your salary. We need to go for a security guard. Keep the ruffians out. I don't think I can decrease your salary. No, I cannot without being unhappy. Um, don't need any vendors just yet. We need a vet. Oh. And you will also run around the other way to go and collect another lynx. Ah. So you also need a lower salary. And we don't need an educator just yet. And our first animal has arrived. Here is Birdie. I love the amount of detail they went into with these models. Just the animations, the little ear flicks. It's fantastic. Okay, let's see what Buddy here needs. Um, okay, so we've got enough space. See what I mean? It doesn't seem like a lot of space, but it is enough space. Um, who doesn't like the long grass, so let's head into terrain. Painting. And let's turn down that size a bit. So, you like soil and short grass. So let's swap it all to short grass for you. And you're happy with that. Okay, that is perfectly fine. Need some hard shelter, we'll set that up. There we are. Next Lynx. Here she is, Anastasia. Looking very regal. Ooh, and we've got some guests already. Now, if I want them to give me money, I need to put down some donation bins. Search for donation. There we go. So I'm just going to put some of these strategically around. One there. One there. Here. Here. That's what good measure. Looks like this already needs some maintenance. You can see the glass starts to crack, which is not the most reassuring. Okay, so now we've got our donation bins down. We need to pop in some education, because we are all about educating at zoos. So we will pop down some of these education boards so people can learn all about Birdie and Anastasia. Down here. Again, just using the Z key to rotate on an axis. Up there. Up there. I need another one of these bins, so I just select it, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and just pop it down there. Okay. So, as you can see, if I pop down all of these, 
they will now be able to learn all about our Eurasian places. Why have a look Okay, now we've got everyone educated. Oh, before I forget, we need some speakers, educational speakers. Let's pop you. Right, right. So I'm going to go into advanced mode, press X. That allows you to, yes, please throw your money into my donation bin, because that is very appreciated. Let's turn off the advanced mode. So I'm just not clicking through. So let's edit the speaker. Pop that onto your Asian links and edit the range. Let's see how far we can get that. That is quite the range. Okay, don't really need it that far. We can put some more around. Just put it to 10. And again, push ahead and control B to duplicate. And now I can pop them. Keep them. Press X. Oh. Okay, so you are overlapping, which isn't good. So what we will do is just move your range slightly. Get to eight. And again, let's duplicate you. You. Ooh. Redo. Control Z to undo. Control Y to redo. Just like most other things. And let's pop you in there. X to box move. Let's squeeze you back a little bit. Okay, uh, next one is here. And last one down here. Okay. You are floating. Why are you floating? Let's pop you. There we are. Okay. So, let's have a look at some of our... They need some hard shelter. So, let's head into nature. Let's give them... Let's have a look quickly. Environment, Europe, temperate. So, these are all of the plants that they will be happy with. Let's go for some rocks. Let's make them a nice shelter. So if I go for, let's see, what pillar? Advanced mode, press X twice to get into rotational mode. That's good to me. Press X again to go into advanced move. That's good. Okay, let's put another one there. little bit more interesting to look at than just the same rock pasted over and over. Okay. Now, to recognise it as hard shelter, we need to pop some bedding down. So let's just go links. Region. Links. Okay. So they like either leaves or Hey, six sticks out. Let's go for that. Let's pop you there. Okay. Now, how is your hard shelter requirement? Wonderful, 100%. That is just what you need. Uh, right. Food and water. Crucial. So, let's pop over to here. So, they will want water. So, let's pop some water over in this corner. Structured how? Don't know. Let's pop you there. And a food tray. Let's pop you over here. 
Okay, that's food and water taken care of. So all animals will also have uh, enrichment, which I, because we haven't researched anything, we don't know what they like. So let's go into zoo, then we'll go to vet research. We've got one vet at the moment, so we'll get him working on the Eurasian links, and they will find us more information. They'll find us more enrichment, um, and yeah, we'll be able to make our lynxes a bit more happy. Let's go ahead and put some trees in here. They don't necessarily need coverage, but they like a bit of climbable area. So, let's see what we can find. Pop this tree. Now, is that climbable? So one thing you can do is you pop into your heat maps, select your animal, and then head onto uh, habitat. You can see the traversable area. So anything blue is where they can move to. Uh, shelter is what class is as shelter. Uh, staff traversable is where your staff members can get to within a habitat. And habitat cleanliness is if there are any hoops about that need cleaning. So hopefully our keeper gets right on that. So it seems this tree is not climbable. Let's try and find another one that is. How about you? No, you're not climbable either. Let's undo you. Um, if you delete something, you only get half the money back. Whereas if you undo, you get the full amount of money back. So it's, you, you want to keep it, um, don't go too far on a build if that you're not 100% sure on. I think this tree's a little bit large. That one's a little bit better. Let's go for you. Can you climb it? I want a tree you can climb. Ah, yes, you can climb. See this green line? That means you can climb the tree, which is good. Okay, now let's add a few more Set some bushes, make it look a bit prettier. Some brambles, let's add a couple of brambles in here. Just rotate a little bit. Okay, carpet moss. Not feeling that. Ooh, some ivy. Let's put some ivy down here. Let's get you aligning to surface. It's a bit big. Let's go with that one. That's better. Now, sick that in in a moment. A bit nicer. a bit better, give them a little bit more shelter. So, last build quality wasn't great. That's another good thing about uh, research, is that we can up their food quality. Let's see. We need a quarantine. Ah, yes. There's one building I forgot to build. Let's pop down a quarantine facility here. So when buying animals, it is always good practice to pop them into quarantine first, um, because these are my first two, didn't, didn't really bother. Um, but yes, it is always best to pop them into quarantine and get them checked over, make sure that they are healthy and that they're not spreading any diseases into your habitats. Also if any diseases are discovered uh, within your zoo, then you can transfer your animals to the quarantine facility and they will be looked after there and then automatically taken back to your habitat. 
Okay, how are we doing? Money's looking good. What we could do with getting some shops. What do? Bit of a plaza area. Let's grab our lunch words online to grid. Let's pop on square off edges. It's because the habitat's there, isn't it? Be a bit funny when there's a habitat nearby. Yeah, you remember me saying the uh, oh, thing is a bit finicky. Let's undo that. Don't get too far, there we go. Okay, let's do our plaza up here. Let's uh, change tact, shall we? New idea. You. Let's go up. So I'm pressing U. Just like the grid. U to go upwards. Let's add in some path supports on there. Make it look a little bit more realistic. Now, drop the length. Go up again to go to stairs. J to drop it back down. Let's pop you there. Okay. Align to grid. Square off the edges. Let's make a bit of a raised plaza. Now what would be really cool is to have pretty sure there are Interesting, I thought that was the brown bear. Get some timber walls though. You could get a timber wall enclosure going. Be interesting. Exhibit, exhibit. Okay. So these can be a bit funny. So I'm gonna go into advanced mode. Down to half level. Let's bring it a bit closer. A bit closer. Back a little bit. Back a little bit. You're not being friendly to me today, are you? Um, this could take some doing. Ha, there we are. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay, okay. So you 
there. Obstructed it, what's your mind? Facilities, exhibits. That's probably the side. Okay, right, scrap this side out. Let's right. Let's hmm. Okay. Let's go out this way a bit more. This. Let's pop some shops up here, shall we? Some facilities. Let's get a food store. Bernie's Bakes. I have a tendency to go way too big on these builds. I really don't need to. Down a bit. Go. A bit more in line. There we are. Lovely. So that's you. And I want Chief Beef. Pop you in there. Gulpy Soda. There. The merchandise, blue balloons. Gulpy soda? Or was that a loony? No, that was a loony boots. Let's pop the gulpy soda for that. There we are. Okay. Do you need to move so slightly? Screw it. Ever so slightly. That's a way. That's a way. See, this is where the pathing sort of kills me. Let's try this one more time. Oh. Oh, 
and uh, there we go. So that's gold pee. you are. Last one's always odd. No, we're gonna have to put you here, aren't we? Okay. I just have to live with the asymmetry. Life isn't perfect, so why should my suit be? Okay, that can go there. Now I want some benches. Uh, picnic benches. Let's pop some of these here. Give our guests some somewhere to sit down. Enjoy a nice meal or beverage. So cute. Some more quality wasn't great. Ah! About power. Ah, bet research. Here we go. We have learned more about the Eurasian links. Let's see, what did we learn? Switchboy enrichment. Fun fact. Education mm. bonus. Feeding unlock level 2. Fantastic. Okay, let's get some enrichment on here for you guys. Some toys, some rubbing pads. Okay. Let's park one of you here. Let's do it through the pub one. Obstruct it. There we go. Now, your toy enrichment is 100% fantastic. He's using it already. That's it, buddy. You scratch yourself out. Get good money for it. Guests are loving it. Come on. Donate here. Right here. Throw in some cash, you know you want to. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing some ATMs. ATM. There we go. Very important if I want my people to, my people, my guests to start spending some 
Money. Pop one right there. What we do with one up here as well. Let's pop you there. So now we are without power over here. So this is generating enough power for this area. We need something for up here. So power generation. Transform this massive area on it. But we want to make sure it is out of negative radius of the guests. So let's find the sweet spot. Let's pop you around. Okay. And now do the path to you. Let's get you facing forward. Snap. Okay. Let's, let's get the staff car. What color do we go with? Red. Go with red stuff. And of course you don't want to connect, do you? There you'll connect there. But it will do for now, I'll cover it up with some plants. But at least we have some go benders. So you head to Bertie's Bakes. Bake me some money. But research complete. Some more things learned about our linksy friends. What else have we got? Toy enrichment, food enrichment, fun fact, and breeding research. Let's get you some fun food items. Frozen blood pumpkin. Delightful. Let's pop you there. So cute. My friends. Oh, no, you're mating. Okay, I will give you some privacy. Need a quarantine. I have a quarantine. Why are you not? Oh, I, I've removed my quarantine. I must have uh, backtracked a bit too much. Star facilities. Quarantine small. Let's pop you in there. We have customers. Customers. Um, spend your money. To... Okay. Well, I think this might be a good place to end our first episode. Um, if you see this and you like it, uh, a like and a comment would be great to let me know that you're enjoying it. And if this is something that you would like to see more of, um, I am quite happily going to play more of Planet Zoo. I love this game. It sucks up way too much of my time, um, but to me that is time well spent. Um, I love the water effects on this. Fantastic. They've done a great job with all of that. Anyway, like, comment subscribe the typical spiel and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, first episode of let's play planet zoo have a good day everyone <laughs>